we're back in the shop today and we did some welding yesterday but we're going to change gears and we're going to be working on this guy right here and in the first video in part one we stripped everything off of it and now we're getting ready to primer it and i'm going to take her on the show here in a second but i took an, i'm taking a wire wheel and i'm going across and wire wheel and all the loose paint before we go ahead and uh primer it and what we're going to use for primer is that stuff right there some Rust-Oleum Red Oxidized Metal Primer. So I'm going to take you around and show you what we got going on here. So you can see here the paint that the red paint's chipping off over the blue paint. So it originally was painted blue. And this is underneath. I've already got the top. The top's done. It's ready for primer. We got to get rid of this wire too. That's the old brake uh, wires. So you can see down inside this like C-channel that, you know, all that stuff's got to come off before we can do any kind of primer. And got a little rust here. It's got to get cleaned up and up on this side rail. That's all nice and rusty. So that's going to get probably ground down with the grinding wheel. And this is the back of it here. So, yeah, definitely need some cleaning up inside of there. The top of it. Right here, we got most of the loose stuff off there. I think it's pretty much ready for primer. This is what I'm using to take off the loose paint. I originally wanted something that would go on my grinder, but I wasn't spending like 20 bucks for a wheel, and this one was like six bucks. So I'm using this, it's gonna take a lot longer. I'm not gonna show me using this because it's gonna take like an hour, two hours to get this all off. We'll just come back when we're ready to primer it. I've been wire brushing and wire wheeling this frame for it seems like three days and I am done. I pretty much got it as good as I'm going to get it and now we're ready to put primer on it. But before we do that we got to fix a couple welds on the sides here and over here before we actually primer it. So we're going to take a look at what we got to fix and then we're going to go ahead and fix that stuff and then we're going to put some primer on this thing. So what we got here is some genius came along and welded a quarter inch plate on top of this C channel which is actually pretty smart because this C channel here is only an eighth of an inch thick. And so to support the axles, they welded a quarter inch piece to the eighth inch piece and then ran bolts through here to hold the axle on, which is pretty smart. Then they come through and welded the sides on each side and then they welded stitch welds up on the bottom of the top, actually this is upside down, across the top four or five places. But they didn't bother to go ahead and put stitch welds or any kind of welds on this bottom here, the whole length of it. And as you can see, I got a Phillips head screwdriver. And you can fit the Phillips head screwdriver in because it's starting to peel away from the C channel. So what I got to do is first of all, we got to come and clean this all up so it's weldable. And once it's cleaned up, I'm going to take a C clamp in here. I'm going to clamp this C clamp and try to get these, this quarter inch pushed into the eighth. And once I get that, then I'm going to go ahead and put some stitch welds along the whole length of this, four or five stitch welds on this side. And then I got to go do the exact same thing on the other side. I ran to tractor supply today and I picked up one of these things. And what these things are is it's basically a shirt that's flame retardant. It won't catch fire, basically. It's not supposed to anyways. Because frankly, I'm tired of catching myself on fire. I welded yesterday and caught my shirt on fire. And the day before, I caught my shirt on fire. So, I'm tired of catching myself on fire. We're going to go ahead and put this thing on. And uh, hopefully, we won't become a crispy critter today.
just some of my handiwork. So there is a couple of the beads that I laid down. With that C channel being an eighth inch and the flat stock being a quarter inch, um, I turned the, the heat down on my welder just a little bit. And then whenever I welded, I, I stayed more on the quarter inch and jumped up to the, I was doing a C pattern. And I jump up to the to the eighth inch real quick and then come back down and let it, let it like burn in, heat up on the thick stuff, but not as much on the thin to keep it from burning through. I did burn through once and I do believe we had a couple fires, but I did not catch myself on fire. <laughs> not yet anyways. Day's not over yet. We'll see what happens. Now that I'm done welding and everything seems to be pretty good, we're going to go ahead and take our paint or our primer, I mean, and we got some rollers and we're just going to use a roller and there's roller stuff on. I want to put it on really thick so, you know, it covers the rust and kind of covers up the pits and stuff. I mean, I know it's not going to cover the pits, but I just want to put it on thick. So we're not going to thin it down or nothing. We're just going to take it right out of the can and roll it right on. As you can see behind me, my trailer is primered and this video is pretty much done. So go into the comment section, tell me what you think. Like this video, share this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. You know you need to subscribe. And uh, don't set yourself on fire. It really isn't worth it. I've done it a few times and it's not worth it. See you guys later.